my name is Suzanne. Um, I'm just going to be telling you about what it is like to use your EpiPen. So I'm actually going to tell you the story of when I had used it. I've only ever had to use it once because I'm quite lucky. I know, I've known that people have had to use it multiple, multiple times. So I'm actually going to be starting a thing called OIT, Oral Immunotherapy, where I would be eating a small amount of my arginine, in this case peanuts, a day. And every one to two weeks, I would go to the place where I'm actually doing it and get an updosing or, or whatever my dose is, I would move up. I think it's part pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just going to get right into the, um, I'm just going to get right into the story. So it was May 4th or 6th, so, so to the 2016, so one year and four or five days from before today. Oh, I'm getting confused at this point. So, um, I was at my brother's little league game. My mom was at a percussion ensemble, so my dad I was either at home or at work with my other little brother. So, I was at a little league game with my grandma my, and my two, three-year-old brother. Um, my mom was at the percussion ensemble. She actually didn't get to see it because of the reaction. So, I, so we were at the game, and I was just sitting on the bleachers, doing my homework, sitting next to one of my old neighbors, my old neighbor. So, I, at the corner of my eye, I noticed she was glancing over at me every, like, ten minutes. Apparently, the person next to her was eating peanuts, shelling peanuts and eating them, and throwing the shells on the ground, which is pretty dumb of her. So, my grandma had set up a blanket and a chair right next to the picture. So when I was done, I, with my homework, I got up and I went over there to get more food because I like to pick out. So apparently I put my hand in it when I sat down. And I noticed that I asked if I could go to the bathroom and wash my hands. So she said yes, I could go after she knows that especially. So I went, washed my hands, went to the bathroom, and I texted my mom while I was in there. This was about 9 o'clock. And asked her, what are the symptoms of an allergic reaction? She said, you should have a paper in your epi pouch. So I wore a fanny pack. Like, it goes around your waist. And so I wore that to, so I would wear that. And I would carry my phone, my epi pen, and a, like a little thing telling you what are the reactions. So. I'm also allergic to grass, so it's one on the mild. It said if there's like one, if there's one or more of these, if there no, if there are two or more of these. These you have to pen. Um, they were, and then you just cut the grass there. So my eyes were itching and my nose was running, and that was one of the things. Those are two of the things I was like, that's just my actual. Those are my just my seasonal allergies, my grass allergies, and so, um, so I also looked at the severe column and I was like oh my gosh what's happening I am getting really confused and I felt like something bad like really really bad was gonna happen and so one of the things on there was confusion anxiety and feeling something bad's gonna happen I had two out of three of those I was pretty much just confused on what was happening like it's more like confused on like who you are, what are you doing there, which I've had a few times in the morning. Comment down below if you have had that too, please. I don't know if this is going on YouTube, but if it is, comment down below. So, um, and subscribe. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know. First video ever. So, um, we, uh, when I got out of the bathroom, I had... So my grandma had asked me if I wanted to move. So there was a park, actually, like a playground really close by. So we walked over there to go and um, play over there with my little brother because we noticed that, so we decided to move away. 
and I won't put me aside to call my mom because of my because my throat started closing up. And my mom asked me if I wanted to use my pen. I was like, I don't want to, but if I do, if I have to, I will. So my grandma was actually scared to use it at one point because like we found out like just gotta use it because my throat was starting closer and it was getting hard for me to breathe and talk, which I do a lot. If you have noticed, I, if you haven't noticed by now, I talk a lot. I'm gonna talk a lot. I just talk. And anyway, guys, I am breathing. Don't worry, I am breathing while I'm doing things. So, okay, so, um, we had a silent pauses. Dramatic effects. So, uh, So, uh, I'm not cutting this out, guys. This is a non-cut video. Mainly because I don't know how. <laughs> I'm probably going to, like, add stuff in the beginning or something, but I don't know. So, um, I decided to, so we decided, we called 911, I guess my pen felt better immediately. Like that. My throat opened up. I could breathe. So, they Actually, a fire truck came first, but, and they put me on a gurney, gave me, like, a face mask for me so I can breathe. And we had to call my mom. And so if you... Guys, sorry, bugs. I'm outdoors. So if you haven't noticed, and it's only on most phones. I'm not saying every phone has this. I know my phone does. So if you're on a call and you just press the power button, and be warned of this, guys. It can be not a good thing. So, if you just press the power button, it doesn't end the call on most phones. It just turns off the screen, which we're actually kind of glad about this on my phone. But I just have to be careful of it in case I'm like, I want to say something about someone. Like, a surprise. And I don't want them to hear, and I was just on the phone with them. And I only pressed the power button, because I think it, like, will end the call. And I talk, I'm like, crap! So, um, we went... And so we called, they came, they put me on a gurney, I just pressed the power button, had it next to me, my phone next to me, so my mom could actually hear everything we were saying. She didn't hear every word because at one point, um, she actually hung, hung up so she could meet us at the hospital, with my, and my dad could too, so... We all met at the ER. I was, in the, I was like, I was at one point. I was got in the ambulance. As they were asking me, um, I still briefly remember. Um, I can still briefly remember the name of the person who was talking. I think his name was either Mark or Ethan. I believe it was Ethan. But that's how you know it was very traumatizing. So I'm just gonna say, this, EpiPens do hurt. You're stabbing a needle into your thigh. Although it's not the needle that hurts, it's actually the plastic part, which actually more numbs that area for me, at least. But it's like smacking against your thigh. But don't be scared to use it. It will make you feel better immediately. So, um, we went to the ER. We were told by the doctors that I fixed myself while we were there because I used my pen. So, I've been traumatized. I'm actually quite traumatized by this. From this happening. Like, um. But I'm going to be. So. That was. This was just me telling you about. What it's like to use your pen. Also, we. My brother also has a channel called The Red JM Monkey. I will. If this goes on YouTube. There'll be a link to it in the description below. And we actually, me and my mom, me and my mom have a cooking channel called Miss Susie's. This is because on YouTube, they just, the link will be on the description down below. Actually, go on YouTube and search the most epic, most epic cookie fail. One will, one will say Miss Susie's. It'll be about my mom making a flood cookie. <gasps> Her phone did it. Did a swan dive into the cookie. Get out of here, mosquito. Bye.